Hello and welcome to day 18 of 28 days of stretching, mobility and yoga. I hope you are feeling good today, another 15 minute workout and it's going to be a fairly chilled one so hopefully by the end of it you're going to feel nice and relaxed although it would also be a wonderful way to increase your energy and set you up for the day. Um, do let me know how you get on with this workout and all the other ones too, whether you pop a like or comment, it will be really useful to get the feedback. Which one's your favourite? What do you find most challenging? Let me know. So let's get ourselves super comfortable to start with. We're going to lay down on our back and make sure you use any tools that allow you to feel comfortable. You might want to pop it out underneath your back, perhaps your head. I want you to find as much comfort in this position as possible. Just releasing the arms and legs. And as you just start to lay quietly, I want you to just do an overall body scan, noticing the parts of your body that are in contact with your mat or the floor, wherever you are right now. feel it differently on each leg and the different bits in touch with the floor. You feel there's more pressure on one side than the other. And I just want you to try and let go of any tension that you might notice. And completely surrender letting your body be fully supported. Take a slow deep breath in and then slowly release. slight changes in the body. The things that might be starting to tense, the things that may be starting to release. No judgment, just making a note and seeing if you can let the tension go. On your next inhale, to just very slowly and gently bring your left knee up towards your chest. Just gently wrap both of your hands around your left shin and just squeezing up and in. And then just start to draw some circles with your left foot. Just choose a direction whichever feels most natural one more time and then we're just going to reverse it so go the opposite way. Last one. And then release the left leg back to where we started and we'll do the same with the right. So big breath, wrapping your hands gently around your right chin, squeezing the knee in, just holding it there. And then we're going to start to draw our ankles or rather draw circles with our ankles and with our feet just going round, making a bigger circle as you can, whatever direction you want to start with. One more time and then we go same pathway but backwards. So loosening up our ankle last time. A little squeeze in and release. And then we're going to bring both knees into the chest. So coming back up, wrapping both arms. You might find that you're lifting up a little bit now as you just hug the knees in. And just start by holding it there, making yourself as small as you can. Now, if that feels 
like enough you can hold it there or you can just gently start to rock from side to side and that should just allow you to gently massage your lower back into the floor just trying to control it that's it good coming back to stillness and then gently release the legs back away we're going to bring the soles of the feet together and then just start to draw the feet up towards your glutes opening up through your inner thigh creating that butterfly shape and again as we've done before if you need to have a little bit of support or pop a pillow or a block underneath your legs if it's just a little too uncomfortable please do do that not just trying to use the breath slowly in and slowly out to just let some of that tension flow from the body and release take both knees across to the left side so you're going to get a little gentle twist through your body you know if that feels enough just hold it there if you want to open up a little bit more you can let your arms come fully out to the side and then just turn your head to the right and you can extend that stretch a little bit further in and out and then bring your head back round if you're looking to the right bring the knees back up to the center reset first and then we're going to do the same on the right side so gently taking both knees across to the right side, getting that rotation first before then potentially extending your arms out to the side and taking a look to the left this time. Again, even though you're going to feel tension from the stretch, try not to clench, try and release and use the breath to ease into hopefully a reasonably enjoyable position. And slowly out. And again, we're just going to come back into the centre. knees up into the air and bring our feet off the ground we're just going to try and hold that position so you want to stack your knee on top of your hip and just hold it there just trying to keep complete stillness line up all the joints going to try and take hold of the outside of our feet and just let the knees come a little bit wider and we're going to move into happy baby if that feels good so you can just rock from side to side to use the space you've got and again so we're gently rocking and massaging our lower back into the ground but also opening up through the hips and if you can't quite reach you could just hold your leg just hold it a little bit higher so it's more comfortable if you can't take it all the way out and maybe 
can just hold still. Just let this be playful and fun. Literally think of a happy baby playing on their mat. We're just playing, giving our space. To the body just to move and relax and then gently bringing the feet back down. That's it, good. Sliding your arms up behind you, lengthening away and then slide one leg and then the other leg away. So you're in full body stretch big breath in and out and again and then we're going to roll ourselves up into a seated position as much length as you can, sitting tall, and then using your exhale to slide forward into fold, and coming back up, sliding down into fold. One more fold. And then we're going to take a nice rotation. Let's bring the hand behind you, look over your left shoulder. And hold it there for a breath. And then slide it back to the center. Bring your left hand behind you, look over your left shoulder. Coming back to the centre. And then we're going to take it back down. So just tucking your tailbone underneath and nice and slowly. And then take it back down until we're on the floor. And then we're going to bring our feet back up into the air. This time we're going to try and lengthen. So like we were just sat, we're bringing our feet as if we're trying to stand on the ceiling now. So you're going to get that nice length through the back of your legs. Now if you can, just try and relax the rest of the body and hold it there. And if you need to just give your legs a little bit of support, just gently wrap your hands around and hold it, but try and keep your, your neck and your shoulders and your upper body as relaxed as you can. If you want to take it further, you can start reaching up towards your feet. But again, really focus on the length and the back of the legs and trying to flex and flatten your foot as if you're trying to walk on the ceiling. Good. One more breath here. And then slowly as possible, we're just going to start to bring the knees back down, bring the feet to the floor, and then slide the left leg away, and then the right leg away. And take a nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just allow yourself sink into your mat. Really try and let go of the tension. Noticing how you feel different from just a few moments of focus on the breath and your body and lengthening and releasing. Perhaps in just that few short moments your body feels completely different in the way it has contact with the floor feels different. Do you feel lighter? Do you feel heavier? Whatever you feel right now, just let it be. 
Gegenteil. Ich wünsche euch immer ein Zucker.